video I'm going to show you how to find the equation from the graph. So let's start off with this example here. Now we know our equation should be in the form y equals mx plus c. But so far we can identify certain things about the line and that being that it's a positive gradient because it's going this way and the fact that it's cutting through 2 on the y-axis. So it's going to be y equals mx plus 2. Now all we need to do is find the gradient itself and I'm going to use the rise run method like I did before in a previous video. So I'm going to start here. It goes along by 2 and it goes up by 2 to make a triangle. So that's 2 over 2 which gives me an answer of 1. So I know my equation is y equals x, well 1x plus 2 or it could just be y equals x plus 2 since we don't need the 1 and that's it okay let's have a look at this example now so again it's going to be in the form y equals mx plus c um, I can see that the line cuts through the y-axis at negative 2 so it's going to be y equals mx minus 2 and then I'm just going to use the rise run method from the point that it intersects the y-axis so I'm going to go the run is 1 and the rise is 1, 2, 3. So that's 3 divided by 1, which is the same as 3. So therefore, my gradient is 3. So it's going to be y equals 3x minus 2. That's the final answer. So moving on to this example, it's going to be y equals mx. Well, I can see that the line cuts through the y-axis at negative 3, so it's going to be negative 3 there. Use the rise run method now, so I'll go along by 1, 2, 3, 4, and then up by 1, 3, 4, and the rise is 1. So this time it's going to be 1 over 4, which stays as a fraction. Uh, you can convert it to a decimal as well, but I usually leave it as a fraction, so it's going to be y equals 1 over 4x minus 3 and that's the final answer for this one moving on to negative gradients now so y equals it's going to be something negative so it's going to be negative mx plus 3 as you can see the line cuts through the y-axis at a positive 3 because it's slanting the opposite way it's going to be negative gradient so let's work out the gradient um, if we go from 3 it's 2 along and 2 up. I know this one looks like it's going through the point. It's actually not. Uh, we can see clearly from this again if you're not too sure. It's 2 along and 2 up. Uh, and again, if this line was to continue, it would be 2 along and 2 up there as well. It's just, a, it's just the thickness of the line that makes it look um, like it should be going through at this point. So 2 over 2 is equal to 1. So it's y equals negative 1x plus 3. Well, we don't need to write negative 1. So we just put y equals minus x plus 3. That's the final answer for this question. Moving on to the final example now. So as you can see, it's a negative gradient as the slant is going the opposite way. So it's going to be y equals negative mx. And you can see the line cuts through the y-axis at negative 2. So negative 2 there. Now find the gradient, so it's 1, 2, 3, 4 along and 1 up. So it's 1 over 4, so it's going to be y equals negative 1 over 4x minus 2. That's the final answer.